I'm Dr. Joey Fawcett with Faith Positive TV. This week we're talking about how to do this when you're invisible at work. The scripture passage for this week is Hagar answered God by name, praying to the God who spoke to her, you're the God who sees me. Yes, he saw me and then I saw him. Does it ever seem like you're invisible at work? Nobody sees you, much less appreciates you and your work. Exit surveys of persons who leave a company discover they're getting away from a leader who doesn't appreciate them or worse. It's not the work they're leaving, it's the leader. These persons are invisible to the leader. Hagar worked for Sarah, Abram's wife, the same Sarah and Abram that changed zip codes at God's direction. And in exchange, God promised they would be parents to a great nation. Only the promise wasn't coming true and they were old, worn out. So they took matters into their own hands. Sarah told Hagar to get in bed with Abram and help God out because obviously the divine one had forgotten. Hagar got pregnant and Sarah got jealous and didn't appreciate her employee any longer. Hagar became invisible. Now, does that sound familiar to you? Your leader or manager tells you to do something, you do it, and it's not quite good enough or you do too good a job and he's jealous. You're unappreciated, invisible. So what do you do next? Follow Hagar's example. First, remember God sees you. When you're invisible, you assume no one sees you, that your cloaking extends to everyone at work, more than just your leader, your coworkers too, even God. When God speaks to Hagar, she remembers that she matters to God, that God wants an intimate relationship with her and cares about every little detail of her heart's desires, even if Sarah doesn't. When you're invisible at work, remind yourself that God always sees you. God created you with this divine design that's your unique contribution to make through work. God calls you to work with excellence to the best of your ability, and thus your work becomes worship. So regardless of how your leader or coworkers look right through you, God sees you. Remind yourself daily, God sees me. I am visible. Secondly, remember God shows you. Hagar prays to the God who spoke to her. God shows Hagar she is visible by speaking to her. Her prayer is literally a response to God's words. God reaches out to Hagar first. When you're invisible at work, even if you remember God sees you, it's so easy to wonder if he really does. The world's chaos and confusion drown out your faith-positive perceptions. And yet the God you work for shows you he sees you by speaking to you. The creator God spoke into the formless void nothingness, and created all you know today. The divine designer spoke into the chaos and order emerged. And God speaks into your work today, above the roar of your leaders and coworkers' projections of invisibility, to show you that you are visible. Remind yourself daily, God shows me I am visible. And finally, remember, God secures you. God took care of Hagar even when Sarah refused to see her. The scriptures say that her son was born and Abram was to name him Ishmael, which means God hears you and God answers. Despite Sarah's blindness to Hagar, God sends Abram to stand in the gap. Protection and provision emerge from a different leader. God secures Hagar. And God secures you in your work when you seem invisible. Ever notice how God sends someone else to you when those around you go blind? God gets the divine work done regardless. If your leader or teammates self-select to exclude themselves from what God is doing, they have the freedom to do so to their own detriment. You don't have to. You can choose to see and speak to the God who sees and speaks to you, even when those with whom you work act otherwise. God protects and provides for you, Sometimes with a new leader or team, other times with a new position in a different company. So remind yourself daily, God sees me when I am invisible, shows me he does by speaking to me, and secures me with protection and provision. Follow Hagar's example when you're invisible at work and increase your faith with greater joy at work so you love God and others more as you work faith positive even in a negative world. For Faith Positive TV, I'm Dr. Joey Fawcett. Discover your free Faith Positive coaching program, Be Still and Know, 
at getpositive.today slash faith hyphen positive.